Hello YouTube, this is Herman from Sphere 10 Software. In this video we will be showing how we can overcome the limitations of uh, visual inheritance for menu strip controls. So what we'll do is uh, we'll start off by creating a, a base form. In this base form we will add a menu strip control. Now what we will want is to have at the end of all this exercise we will want a menu strip that has A, another, so we will we'll want a menu strip with three menus A, B and C and what we will want is each menu to have one, two and three like this. And Okay, so that's what we want in our output form. But what I'm going to do in the base form is I'm going to actually um, I'm going to break it and then in the sub form fix it up. So what I'll do here is I'll put a one one in the C. I'll I'll delete the three and for this one, I will just delete that menu altogether. So our base form now has two menus, A and B, and as we can see, the A has a one, a one one, which we will have to remove in the base form and insert in its place an, an item called two. And in the B menu, we want to add a menu item for three. We'll also have, want to uh, create a C menu and add it to the, to the menu strip here. Okay, so we set that to. Uh, the, the modifiers have to be set to protect it so we can access in our subform. We save it, we build a solution. Oh, we're well, just going to fix this one up for now. Okay, so that builds. What we will do now is we will add a inherited Windows form. This Windows form we will inherit from the base form. Great. So now we can see that in our sub form we've inherited the measure and we, we it's locked down thanks to Microsoft. What I've done is written some controls that we can uh, use in our sub form to allow us to edit the, uh, the base form control. So what we've done here is um, we want to drag down a, a, a mergeable menu strip control and plot it onto our designer and the mergeable menu strip control will allow us to at runtime merge this menu with the, the parent menu. In design time the mergeable menu is invisible so it doesn't get in the way. When you want to edit the mergeable menu in design time you simply click on the on its icon in the component panel down the bottom and it becomes visible again. Okay so what we wanted to do is that we wanted to in the A menu, we wanted to remove an item called 1-1 one, one, and we wanted to insert an item called 2. So the way we do this is that we go to the properties of the items and in the properties of the items, we uh, we set for the 1-1, one, one, we wanted it to remove the merge action to remove. What this means is that when this item gets merged with the parent menu, it's going to remove the one that it finds. For the two, I want the merge action to be inserted and this will insert into position one because it's zero based indexing so it's a second slot. Now the menu itself actually needs to be merged as well and what we do here is match only. So you may have not known about these uh, these merge fields but they've been available in the uh, tool strip item controls for since they were released and uh, they they are there and there are there there is functionality in .NET framework that allows you to merge these tool strips together and uh, unfortunately Microsoft didn't go the full the last yard in their visual inheritance feature set and they didn't provide this, this functionality for for us but um, luckily we can we can uh, do it ourselves so with the B menu we wanted to simply append a uh, three at the end. So if we go to the B menu, we set the merge 
action to in match only again because we're matching that menu and for the item we're appending it which is the default action we also wanted to append a whole new menu itself to menu C and in this mode the merge action for the menu should be by default append okay great the last thing we do with the mergeable menu is set the inherited tool strip uh, property which tells us what the tool strip was that we're, that we're going to be merging into the one that's defined in the base uh, menu now you sh we should set that to protected which we are, have already done if you don't see your menu strip your base class menu strip in here is because it likely hasn't been set to protected okay so we set that now I've also provided runtime support in that when this menu goes invisible it does do a, a design time merge into the, the parent menu doesn't mean you can edit it or change it but it just gives you a little bit of uh, design time support with the, with the mergeable menus now what we'll do is we'll launch the sub form and we should with any like CL menus one two three one two three one two three So there we go. We have uh, achieved what Microsoft have uh, said was not possible, and we've done it with a few simple controls. The source code for these controls is available on my website. The link to my website you can see on the description of this video, and I recommend that you uh, read read through that article so you can answer any questions you may have about visual inheritance. Thank you, and um, my next videos I'll cover how to do the equivalent for the tool strip and for the status strip. Thank you.